Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So glad you're here. Today's topic is these are the reasons why you're feeling stuck and also how to get out of it. So let's jump in. This message came to me as I was writing out my thoughts this morning and I just had some you know, words that came to me I wanted to share with you guys about this particular topic. There's a couple of reasons, you know, if you clicked on this, obviously you may be feeling even depressed or anxious a little bit, but you know, you're feeling stuck, like nothing's moving and you can't move forward. You know, maybe you don't know how to get out of it. And I just wanted to shed some light on some reasons why, based on my own personal experience, I have felt stuck in the past in hopes that, you know, this supports you in getting out of the funk that you're in. So number one reason why you might be feeling stuck in life is because you don't have a vision or a goal that you're moving towards. And this is where I would recommend that you start. Makes sense that if you don't have a vision or you don't have anything to look forward to, well, you're not really moving in any direction in particular. So it's like your feet are in the mud. So once you develop a vision that really excites you, something that you want, you wanna start a business, you wanna get in shape, it could be something small, it could be something big. Uh, whatever the case may be, when you have something to look forward to that you're excited about, well, now you can start working backwards and taking steps in order to move forward. So a lot of the time, depression is you're stuck in the past. Anxiety is you're worried about the future because you don't know what you're holding on to from the past and you don't know what you're moving towards uh, going forward. So lack of vision or a goal to move forward may be one reason why you're feeling stuck. So in order to help you, I would write out just some things that would make you happy and excited. You know, whether it's a financial goal or a fitness goal or a relationship goal, right? These are pretty much the main areas in all of our lives. Start developing that vision. What does that look like vividly? You know, when you look at your life, you know, a year, a couple of years down the line, what do you want to feel like when you wake up? Where do you wake up? Even what does your bed look like? What does your bedroom look like? You know, what does your partner look like? Or maybe you're alone if you want to be alone. Are you in this, you know, same city? Are you in a different state? Are you in a different country? You know, start to visualize little things like that. What's your day look like? What are you doing for work? What do your relationships look like? What is your financial situation? When you start to just develop that vision, little by little, piece by piece, it'll start to create some excitement. And it doesn't have to happen all at once. As a matter of fact, it won't. It might take a day, it might take a week, it may take a couple of months, it might take, honestly, a year, who knows? A uh, couple of things that come to mind in the book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data, and a book I highly recommend for both men and women. Uh, just gives you some great insight into masculine and feminine energies, the way they interplay with each other in relationships. But the first section, the first episode of that book is that you have to find your purpose. And he talks about finding a purpose, AKA finding your vision. And when you find that purpose, again, your vision, it's much easier to start planning the steps backwards and start moving forward. So I would recommend starting with your vision as the first step. Now, if you know what you actually want in life, say you're working, you know, uh, this job you've been working for the past, you know, three, four, five, 10, 15, whatever years, but you know you want to do something else, you've always wanted to do it and it's always been in your heart and you're aware what that vision is, but you're currently in life right now and nothing excites you, you're just going through the doldrums and the day-to-day, -day, you know, monotony, the, you know, the minutia, same routine, there's nothing to get excited about, but yet you know your vision, the other reason you might be feeling stuck is because you're fearing change. Uh, you're fearing, you know, all the work it's gonna take because you have a mortgage, maybe you have a family, you have kids and a car payment, so it's like, God, I wanna do that, but how can I make that happen? You know, I have all of these responsibilities and people that count on me and, you know, I need to take care of, but you're fearing that change. So what I would say to that is you have to embrace that change because it really is the only way that you're going to get what you want. And it's that simple. And most people avoid change because change is uncomfortable. You know, we are creatures of habit. We really are. We, you know, have routines. We have favorite places. You know, you get up and you go to the bathroom, you take a shower, you make coffee, you make breakfast, you drive the same way to work, you talk to the same people. We're creatures of habit. And there's a power in that when it's disciplined and when you're moving forward and you're creating consistency. And that's another topic for another video. But 
the downside of that is when you get so stuck in your routine, you become fearful of change. And fear is really the key word there. You're fearing this disruption in your routine. But to shed light on the topic is, unless you change something, you're just gonna get the same thing, right? It's the whole Albert Einstein quote, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, it's insanity. But again, I'll repeat the key word, it's about fear. You're fearing change. Oh my God, am I gonna be able to pay my bills if I embark on this journey? Am I gonna be able to take care of my family and handle these responsibilities? And that requires strategy. So yes, you can do it. You've gotta get over the fear of change. Depending on your situation, you know, will dictate the flexibility in your approach on how you go about these changes that you want in your life. So have a strategy, but recognize that it's a fear of change that may be holding you back. So if it's not, it may be lack of vision. If it's not lack of vision, you know what you want. It may be the fear of change. Along with the fear of change is the fear of the unknown. And this goes back to, I mean, the beginning of time, right? We are wired to be scared of what we don't know because that fear of change, you're gonna be in this uncomfortable space of, oh my God, you know, this is a new city, this is a new job, these are new people, this is whatever. It's uncomfortable. But here's the thing, when you're in that space of discomfort and you don't wanna do anything, you know, you wanna go back to where you were, you wanna go back to the same routine, that is when you actually know that you're on the right track. So you've got to overcome the fear of change and the fear of the unknown and actually flip the perspective and understand that that fear of the unknown, that, you know, once you overcome that, when you're in that space and you, you know, you want to go back to your normal routine, am I doing the right thing? And you start having doubts and questioning yourself. That is the main indicator that you're on the right path because only when you're in the unknown can something new and different and better, which is what you want, can happen. Makes sense, right? If you're doing the same thing, you're gonna get the same stuff. So if you're comfortable in the position, you're not really growing, you're just recreating the same thing. So you've got to get over the fear of change and the fear of the unknown and understand that those are actually key indicators that you are on the right path. So if you're feeling stuck in life, if you're depressed, you know, you're unhappy with a job, unhappy with a relationship, you're stuck in comfort and you may not have a vision. So you start with your vision on, well, what would I like my relationships to be like? What would I like my work situation to be like? What if, what, if, what would it be like if I didn't have to work, you know, 50, 60 hours a week doing a job that I don't really enjoy with people that I don't enjoy being around? Well, what would it look like? Is it a possibility that I could work 20 hours and make more money and do what I like? There's people out there doing it. So that goes into your belief system, right? And that's also another video for another time, understanding subconscious beliefs. So to keep it concise with you, do you have a vision? If you're feeling stuck, start there. If you do have a vision, you're still feeling stuck or you're feeling anxious, it's the fear of change. Embrace and understand that change is a natural part of the process. That's the only way you're gonna get what you want. And the third part of it is the fear of the unknown. As you step into these changes, maybe you're already going along and you wanna turn back and you're questioning yourself and you're doubting yourself, that's the main indicator you're on the right path. You're creating something new and different and you've really gotta ground into the process. And as the saying goes, it's darkest before dawn. So if you're at that stage now, right, from the beginning and you're at the end and now you're like, God, is this even working? Is it worth it? Is any of this stuff even right? Should I just go back to what I was doing? Man, I'm losing all this money, I'm failing at everything. Chances are, you are so close to your breakthrough and what you actually want. Darkest Before Dawn, the other story that comes into my mind is Three Feet From Gold, uh, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. He talks about, uh, I think his, his like Uncle Derby, right? And he goes out uh, you know, for the California gold rush and he's digging for gold and he's digging and digging and he's only getting specs but he's hoping to hit it rich. You know, and he stops and uh, says, ah, oh, this is stupid, I'm not, you know, it's not working. And he sells all his stuff to another miner and the guy comes along and literally three feet in, he hits like the biggest jackpot, right? Uh, and so that is an illustration of tenacity and you've got to be willing to see it through when it's most uncomfortable. So if you're at that stage where you know what your vision is and you've been working on it now, you've overcome the fear of the unknown, fear of the, uh, fear of the change, and now you're at that point where, man, is this even working? Should I give it up? 
that's when you really got to dig in and keep going because you could be three feet from gold. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Again, this is video two of 30. We're going to start getting back rolling, making some content again. Uh, I apologize for the shake and the camera and the car. Um, you know, this is my own change that I'm overcoming right now, moving to a different city, starting a new job. A lot of my stuff's in storage right now. And so uh, I'll get a, a, a tripod so we can mount it so you don't have to deal with any of the video shake. Eventually I'll break out my nice camera when I get it out in storage and I'll have a whole setup with you guys with the whole background, YouTube studio and all that. But again, per my video yesterday, I'm not waiting for the perfect time to get started. I'm not, I definitely know my vision. I'm not scared of the change because oh my God, I've made massive life changes and I am extremely uncomfortable right now. That's how I know I'm on the right track and this is part of my vision. So stay steady guys, stay in there, develop a vision, understand that you may have a fear of change, but that that's a natural part of it. And then if you're in the process of changing your life and you feel like you wanna turn back, that's an indicator you're on the right track and you're just in that unknown space. You're in the gap, you're so close. So keep going guys, I will see you back for another video tomorrow. Be blessed, peace and love to you and yours, and I'll see you later, peace.